Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I contour, bake, and highlight my face. Um, I saw Jacqueline Hill do a video on this, and I learned so, so much for her, so I'm gonna link her down below. Go and check out that video, because she knows all the, like, the scientific things, and really goes into about baking and contouring and stuff like that. So if you wanna know all the fa facts, go watch her video. But I wanted to show you how to do it on a budget like she used a lot of high brands which cost a lot of money which is fair enough but I wanted to show you guys that you can still get this like baked highlight contoured look on a budget and not spend a lot of money and the products are still really really good so I thought I would do that for you today if you want to know how I contour bake and highlight then just keep watching so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to conceal my face and I am using the Collection Last and Perfection in the shade Fair. I've already done my foundation, my eyes, my lashes, my eyebrows. I just want this video to literally just be about how I conceal, bake, contour and highlight my face. So I'm just going to put this in a sort of a triangle shape underneath my eyes. On my chin, down my nose, as central as possible, and that isn't very central. I'm going to put it over that mahusive spot I've got as well. And then just spread out this bit onto my forehead. Then I'm going to blend that in using a Real Techniques damp sponge. The one thing I would say about this concealer is that it like dries quite quickly so sometimes it can be like a little bit of a pain to blend in. Okay and once your concealer is done it is time to bake. Baking is where you um, put a lot of powder underneath your eyes or on, on your chin, on your nose, to be honest anywhere on your face to really set your concealer and Jacqueline Hill pretty much said that when you put this powder over the concealer the heat comes out of your face and it like cooks your concealer and sets it and since I've been doing this my makeup especially on my chin it's been lasting all day so yeah but I'll link her video down below she explains it a lot better than I do to bake today I'm using the Rimmel London Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder I think this was like I don't know eight pound max and I love it it's in the shade translucent and I'm going to use this Real Technique sponge again, it's slightly damp and what I am going to do is I'm going to use the flat side of the sponge I'm just going to cover the sponge with the powder and then I'm going to press that underneath my eyes trust me, I know it looks terrifying and you'll probably get covered in powder I'm going to press that into my chin because makeup comes off my chin first because I like touch my chin and stuff like that so lift the other eye obviously and I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose because it tends to come off my nose quite quickly and then just a tiny bit on my forehead okay now we look crazy the things we do for beauty to be honest, I don't really think there's like a time scale on how long you can leave this on. You can leave it on for a couple of minutes, you can leave it on for five to ten minutes really, however long you want to. While that is baking, I'm going to contour my cheeks. Um, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Iconic Lights and Contour Pro Palette because it's the best palette I've used for contour. I feel like when you contour, brushes are really important. I use the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush. It's got like the black bristles at the bottom and the world, they're meant to be white, the white ones at the top. Um, and when you like push onto your skin, the black ones help to blend it out so it blends it out really seamlessly and doesn't leave you with any harsh lines. This at the moment is the best brush I have found for contour. So if you struggle with your contour and struggle, struggle to blend it in, trust me, get this, you will not regret it. So I am using these two shades here, I just sort of dab my brush in both of them. I do like quite a dark contour because I'm not that pale, I can get away with it. Um, yeah, then what I do is I work from my ear 
straight down. I don't curve it up, I don't curve it down, I just work straight down. And I just start obviously underneath my cheekbone from sort of this section of my ear. And I literally just lightly brush my brush. <laughs> I just lightly brush it over my face. I don't push in, I'm literally just the very ends of the bristles are touching. Same on the other side. Don't worry if you brush a bit of the bake off while you're doing this, that's fine. Just work up and down, really lightly blending that all in. I also tend to put a little tiny bit of this on either side of my nose, so just lightly brush that either side. Oh, that is literally it, I don't do anything more than that. Um, and then I go in with the lightest shade around my forehead. But my hair's getting in the way. Just lightly go around the forehead. If sometimes you think you've put like way too much on, just go over with a little bit of powder and it'll be fine. And that is literally it, it's so easy. If you have a good product and a good brush, contouring does not need to be hard. I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of this bake underneath my contour to really give me a nice cut. Cut them cheekbones out. This gives you that Kim Kardashian contour look, which I know everybody wants because she slays that contour. And I'm just gonna let that bake for five minutes and then come back and sweep it all off. Okay, so it's been about five minutes now and our concealer will be nicely set. So I'm just gonna brush that off using my Real Techniques Bold Metals Dupe brush. Okay, now all we need is a little bit of glow in our life because we all know that highlight is important. I am using the Makeup Revolution Golden Sugar 2 in the shade Rose Gold. If you are looking for a good highlighter palette, this is the one. Don't look no further. It's eight pound, it's incredible. You'll glow like a goddess, like the goddess we are. Favorite shade out of this is this one right here. They don't have names, but it's this beautiful rose gold shimmery iridescent shade and I love it. Okay, I tend to use this brush for my highlight. It is the Real Techniques Contour Brush, which I know doesn't make any sense, um, but I just like the shape of it and yeah, it works well for my highlight. I tend to start right on the top of my cheekbones and just lightly brush that on. Hello! I work from the tops of my cheekbones and just slightly bring it down onto my cheeks. Same on the other side. Oh my god, I love it so much. Why is highlight just the most incredible thing? Why has this not been around forever? Oh my god, it just gives me so much life. I always put a tiny bit on the tip of my nose because I just think it looks pretty. And to be honest, I tend to take it like up my nose as well. I don't know if that's the right thing to do, it's just what I like to do. Tiny, tiny bit on my chin, tiny, tiny bit above my eyebrows and on my forehead. And the best place to put highlighter is on your cupid's bow because just watch this. Like, are you serious? I love it. It just looks, it just makes your mouth look amazing. I love it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put this all over my lips today. Ooh transformed that lipstick I love it I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this shade here just to give my face a, just a little bit of blush just gonna sweep that over my cheeks very lightly and that is how I highlight it's really really simple it's not a scary thing just whack it all over your face to be honest Okay guys, and that is quite simply how I bake, contour and highlight my face. Um, I feel like these three things at the moment are quite like, a, oh my god, how do I contour, how do I bake, how do I highlight? 
really simple. You don't need to spend a lot of money on the products. You can get really awesome drugstore products that do, I think, a good as job as some of the, <clears throat> where's my voice going? As some of the high-end products. So don't worry, if your budget's small, you can still get that on fleek face. <laughs> Oh, where am I? <laughs> I hope you like this type of video guys. If you want to see more of like just how I do one to particular thing or a couple of little things, let me know in the comments down below and I will do my best to try and get them filmed for you. Again, I am really, really close to a thousand subscribers. I've got like, let's do, let's do a live, a live check. See how we're doing. Ooh, 952! We're getting there guys, we're getting there. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please, please click on that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. And like I said in my last one, I've got a giveaway coming. The bag is right here. Lots of goodies in there. So yeah, just click that subscribe button. It don't cost you nothing and it makes me happy. So yay. Thanks for watching this video guys. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, all the little things and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.